Hello, this is Anvila David. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you the part two of how to extract numbers from alphanumeric values. Now, in part one, we saw an extremely long and highly complicated formula to achieve that operation. But in this example, I'm going to show us how to achieve the same result using the dynamic array functions and without any dynamic array function so let's get started now this is our sample data you remember we have both the numbers and the text and we are interested in extracting all the numbers so let's start without using any de function so equal sign identify the line now i'm going to take the value in a2 and i close my line so when i press f9 you can see that we have 22 characters long Control Z. After an equal sign, I'm going to deploy the row, then indirect. So for my indirect, I'm going to do single quote one colon single quote and ampersand sign. Then I close my indirect and my row. So when I press F9, it's delivered one, two, all through to 22. Control Z. After an equal sign, deploy the mid function, take the A2 as my text, comma. The starting number will be the row indirect and the len formula. Copy that, then comma. The number of characters is going to be one. Then I close my mid. So when I press F9, it delivered both the numbers and the text inside double quote. Press escape or control Z. Then after the equal sign again, I'm going to deploy the is number and I'll do one plus or we can do one minus or one multiplied or we can even do double negative. Anyone that is convenient is fine. So one plus this formula. So I close my is numbers when I press F9. We see that we can it delivers true, true, true. So all the trues are representing numbers and all the false representing text. Control Z after the equal sign. Then I'm going to deploy the if function. So I'm going to check if this logical test is true. What do I want? If value is true, I want the mid, then take this as my text, comma, and I paste the row indirect and the length formula, comma, and the number of character is one, then I close, comma. Now, if false, what do I want? I want an empty string with double quotation, and I close my if. So when I press F9, can you see that we have all the numbers in double quote and all the if force in just an empty string so when i press control z now what i'm going to do next is i'm going to deploy the contact function so just close my formula when i eat control enter boom can you see that it, we extracted the numbers easily so when i copy down the formula it worked number to check whether they're actual numbers or number formatted in text so each number, B2, can you see it's delivered false? So meaning that they're actually formatted as text, no problem. Come into my formula. I'm just control shift down arrow, press F2 to put the first one in B2 in active mode. Come after the equal sign, then deploy the sum function. Then I close my sum and hit control enter. Amazing. So we can see that it's now showing us numbers and this return true this is amazing we've done the job without using the dynamic array functions let's just add some number formatting oh, this is amazing okay and you can even see that this is even more shorter compared to the big formula we did in the last video now let's see how to do the same thing using the dynamic array functions okay now let's start equal sign so i'm going to use the len function again take the value in a2 close then i'm going to wrap the len inside the sequence function which is one of the six da functions so it returns a sequence of numbers press my tab key there is only one mandatory argument which is the rows so i'm not interested in the columns starting number or the steps so i close my sequence formula control f9 rather and we can see that it's delivered one two twenty two each representing each character in cell a2 control z after the equal sign then do the mid and this is going to be my text comma 
and the start number will be all this okay then comma the number of characters i want is just one close my bit when i press f9 it's delivered one two and the text all in double quotes no problem now after the equal sign i'm going to deploy it one of the most popular dynamic array function which is the field function so deploy the filter and it filter a range on Harry. Press my tab key. Now we have the array and it's going to be our Harry. Then comma. The number, the include argument input value is going to be is number. And I can do one again plus. Then I'm going to deploy yet another mid. And the text is going to be this. Comma. The starting number will be sequence and then wrap the length inside and take the value in a2 again as the length argument input value so i close my length sequence and comma the number of character is one close then close and i close my filter okay so when i press f9 it's delivered one two all those number which is cool control z wrap everything inside the contact function again so i close my contact and i delivered control enter cool it did the job all right now let's check what it's actually numbers so is number c2 control enter force okay no problem so again just let's select everything together press f2 then after equal sign deliver the sum then I close my sum and I hit control enter. Amazing. This is lovely. So we can actually just use the formula text. Okay, let's take this out. So we can see the formulas. Let's do the same thing. Okay, um, formula text. And I take the C2. So we can see that the simpler and more shorter compared to the formula without the DA function. So this is essentially how we can extract numbers from our fundamental values. Please give some likes and remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not done so because there are more powerful videos coming up. Thank you and bye for now.